Hello again, everybody. And, uh, well, it's been a while since we've come back to this, but then there's, but then there's a reason for it. I mean, a lot of shit has popped up. You know, also, we, we moved, because, I mean, let's be fair, we couldn't stay in the attic forever, because no. Micah just wasn't coming over regularly enough to kill off the trash pandas. Look, I'm or, not... for those of you Canadian viewers, shuffle cats. You're the only person that can kill a raccoon. No, I, I'm capable of killing them, but... You're more efficient. But there's just so many. I mean, your experience well, with the gopher... You know, I mean, go yeah. for you know, Groundhog. you know, you know ground, you know, groundhog war of burrowing mammals. Of burrowing years mammals and, of are years the past. worst. Yeah, what what did uh, what were the names for them again? Uh, whistle pigs. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> whistle pigs, but also, what did your grandmother? What was your what did your grandmother name oh. them? She named one. She named them. Did oh, she the named big, one of them Lucifer? The big one she named Lucifer. Yeah, <laughs> Lucifer, and uh, there was another one, right? It was. Uh, she didn't name the other ones. There was just, the big one was Lucifer. There have been several. <laughs> they don't learn. They ne but they but on those instances they did learn today. I mean, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> they did learn that. Day. Retaining information is difficult after you've been, you know, after you got a hole in the head. Yeah, shot in the face. Nah, so yeah. you're. Uh... So Nate, what's your excuse? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm my my excuse for <laughs> for not retaining information, or. Sorry, had to Wow. Be. Yeah, that one was... For not retaining information. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were asking why much. he didn't kill more raccoons. What? Oh, no, it was, so it was the information okay. retention yeah. thing. I mean, my anyway, reason my so, reason for hey. not retaining information is I'm a moron. I'm hey, we're going to watch more Retaining information? <laughs> I can't even maintain a DeviantArt account. <laughs> that's no, something that's we found and something, <laughs> I, and something I reminded it's, him of. It's already gone. <laughs> Oh he, my God, at, like <laughs> thirty minutes after that was found, it was gone. So don't go looking. After Micah was, after Micah rediscovered, he had a DeviantArt page. I, know, I had no. Deleted. I was like, wait, <laughs> exactly. It's he's like, now. he's like, as a matter of fact, the exact words he said was, "This account is no longer in uh, indicative of what I of what I am about." Well, I had to break into my old email account just to retrieve the password for that thing. I didn't even know I had. <laughs> well, that's how it goes, man. I mean, yeah, honestly, you. There's things, uh, you know, my MySpace page is still active from years oh, ago. Oh. I never had one of those. I never had MySpace. I didn't either. Yes, I, I did. I deleted it. I did. I did because of. Uh, I did because of music. Um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. No, uh, it was under Nomad Studios. Uh, I actually recorded several songs with my buddy Manuel and a few with uh, my buddy Chad. But the ones with Manuel, the only ones that we finished, was because. He actually came over and he actually like, oh yeah which Chad couldn't because you know he was like real super busy at the time but still got those original audio recordings well, miraculously from, from Nomad Studios to Epic Studios ah you tied it back around very well I mean very I, nice. I was I tried to do that once and, and people were still mad at me so uh anyway yeah so here we are so are we gonna do we're gonna do in two right ah uh, yes yeah so nine and ten. Captain Cockblock, Cockblock and, and Public, Public Humiliation. Humiliation. Ah, good, good combo. That's yes. Uh, so that's, that's, did, that's what this. I mean, if there's two things that this channel is about, it's it's, it's um, being the captain of things and uh, Public uh, Humiliation. Well, oh yeah, Public Humiliation. Never, that's okay, a big one. Yeah. Okay, I've never been a Cockblock, but I didn't been, say you were. <laughs> no, no. But here's the thing. There's there's been situations. There's been situations that I've been thrusted into. To where people expected me to derail the situation. No, why, why would use the word thrust? <laughs> anyway, no, 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 no. They they put me in situations that they wanted me to derail a situation and that you're was just going like, on. Like, no, and nope. no, and here's the thing. No, I didn't want to do it, but I unintentionally did. I mean, it's at bad. That point, it's that's bad. Whenever you do it, un whenever you unintentionally do something other people intended. I hear the birth of a thousand fan fictions right this very second. Just that unmitigated virility. Sometimes it just takes it's over. too much. Virility. Virility. Yeah, by virility you mean just my my ability of obnoxiously pointing out the obvious. If I okay, if I Oh, like so that, it's like oh, so Captain it's like it's like right you, didn't like, yeah. you didn't like you didn't like steer her desire back your direction. You just sunk his ship. I su okay. I unintentionally sunk his ship because oh, here's no. the thing, here's the thing. This okay. I'm I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> I was gonna make a battleship joke, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So uh, I 
Hey, let's watch the video. Let's okay. Uh, to uh, hell with it. Here we go. Put a battleship in a wet, wet grave. We gotta figure out a way to make some money. Got a date with the watery grave. No, no. Davy Jones locker. This, this is a sex joke. Can you? What did you do? It's not Michael Keaton. We're here to record some tracks, man. It's fine. I put the stuff in the t-shirt cannon. Big mistake. Rachel, this is not what it looks like. It looks like you're coked out as fuck. Do you want some cocaine? Yeah, that's where we left off. I remember that now. Uh huh. I thought we watched something since then. I was wrong. Oh, hey. Oh. Is Rachel around? Oh, yeah. She's actually in the back. And could you just please focus on my face? I'm a human being. Oh. Well, uh, hey, man, I don't think he's supposed to do that. What? I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have like a shirt on. It's okay because I'm courtesying the owner here. What? Of James Marsden. Oh, you're uh, James Mars, yeah. Rachel's ex, right? Well, ex, ex, because we're uh, we're bopping again. Like, oh right. God! I, you know, I don't no, mean, I took this picture last night. It's really fancy. I don't need to see a picture. Yeah, yeah. this is a close-up macro areola. Can you send me that? No, that's love. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna go home. Write well, some incredible. That's his that's areola. Um, areola. Like spoken word poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we like slam that. it. No need to apologize. Not many people know. Or he might want to get that check. Endeavors of <laughs> is so awesome. Can you just keep your eyes on my face? All right. My eyes haven't left your face. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hi. Mm. I see you two have met. We have. Yeah, Mr. No Shirt here just introduced himself. Who? What? Who's that? You didn't tell me uh, James here was a slam poet. Uh, must have slipped my mind. Yeah, yeah I bet it did. So how is uh, James Marsden's poetry? I don't know. I've never heard it. Oh, really? Never? Never? He's very secretive. <laughs> Honk. Mm. Oh, no. Well, you know, okay. Studio across the street happens to be uh, free today, so if uh, you want to come lay down some of that uh, hot poetry. Slam poetry, yeah. My bad. Oh, uh, we're busy. I don't know. Let me, can I just take a look at my schedule? Yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, I'm free. Let's do That's it. That's... Yeah, that was. Yeah. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah, okay. let's do it. I'm gonna put on something a little bit more professional. Oh, like the moon shirt. This is really. Put a odd. shirt on, dude. Ready to go in a few. Just get that voice warmed up. Okay. Uh. Gil the gagged on Godfrey's girth. <laughs> How'd you this ass clown? I'm trying to break him and Rachel up. Just let him destroy himself. Oh, he's doing that all right. I'm ready to go. Running from the top. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh no. My heart pounds. Boom. 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 As soon as you enter the room. Boom. Oh, that's bad. Boom. Oh, my God. Ultimate cutaway value. Uh. This is too easy. <laughs> Tonight, I want to part your legs like Moses did the Red Sea. It's terrible. Oh, my God, dude. Put his shirt on. I can't, you got, I can't hear you, mate. Okay, we're going to win. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Did I piss myself? No. Then I'm okay. Jesus. Should I take five? Uh. Think, Obi, think, Obi, think, Obi, think, Obi, think. We need money to save the studio. What are we gonna do? Go. Steal it. Steal it? Like a robbery! From the federal government. Ice! No. Sorry. It's hot to tell it. Help me! It's hotter than a V-neck sweater in here! Let me out! Let him burn. Yeah, let him let burn. Him. Let that weasel burn. <laughs> That teddy bed is a death trap. The latch is broken. It's not supposed to lock like that. Yes, it is, because it doubles as a panic room. Well, the panic room doesn't work that way. Did you not see the Jodie Foster movie? Yeah, I did. I loved it. I loved it, too. What, did, what was your favorite it part? It was actually the part where you... Hey! If I wasn't already planning to shut this Mine was when Jared Leto got shot. planning to shut this place down! Carol. Yes! Crush that like a nut! Oh. What? Hey, man. Oh, hey, God. So how's the poetry going? Slamming. Oh. Yes, yeah, just came out to try Jake. Mm -hmm. oh, God's sakes, put a shirt on, man. Oh, my God. Put a shirt on. <laughs> okay, now you're not even... <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> that's littering, dude. Pick that up. That's That's just disrespectful. I don't... Litter at all. Well, Thank sorry. you. I'm not. I'm not wearing one. Hold on. The guys around here had bodies of yours. Well, 
We can make a men of epic studios calendar. You can just Photoshop your face on his body. That will never work. It will take way too long. The technology just isn't there. It's not there yet. It's no. not there. Mm -mm. He agrees, right? It's tough. But it's I call bullshit. It is there. Yeah, I gotta go back and slam. Can we try this again sometime? Like an hour? No. Why? This is gonna work. No. Take out your phone. No. It's time to make some money. This is a on her beautiful breasts. Hey, hey, we need to uh, take some pictures for the men of Epic Studios calendar. You look gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> what is happening? We're going to buy a calendar in April. Shh. Models don't speak. All right, we'll make it quick. I got to go get Neither. Rachel so she can come see how mm, shitty your I shouldn't. I'm not going to say it. No. Lock is cock. Cock block away, brother. Look, over your shoulder. It's the douche. It's that guy. It's it's Captain Cockblock. Okay, what is what kind of Ghostbusters nonsense is on your shirt right now? <laughs> you're gonna wish you hadn't asked. So you're at a bar with a fine girl wearing a crop top, and she's digging your style. She likes the way you talk shop. You're making all the right moves. This girl is on your hot job. That's when I come in the picture with the plot stop. Hey, man, she's really cute. Oh, no. You gotta take her back to your parents' basement tonight? You know, where you live. This is the worst. <laughs> no. I'm, okay. No. I <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I am oh distinctly uncomfortable. Like nope, this isn't happening. I'm pretending it's not happening. That's uh. Nope, you're. Nope, Mom, it's not happening. I'm scared. Can I sleep in your bed tonight? Oh Jesus! <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> No, I'd rather not. I. This is. So what are we doing after this, guys? Hey, when do you leave for war? The third wheel. I'm drunk. Don't leave me here, bro. By the way, how's your wife? Oh. <laughs> oh. I chose holes of a bros just so you know you pick up lines of crushed by me and no dude is safe if there's a girl I've got my eye on it's game over when you face the rain clouds from my horizon this is it's, it's Captain <laughs> this is too good. pain you ain't getting no pussy <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting no pussy hey how you doing I'm good to uh, be in rehab or something? <laughs> You're probably right. Yep, yep, for sure. Do you find yourself grinding okay, your teeth? Because uh, if not, I think you're okay. I know things are awkward. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not awkward. Okay. I'm just happy to get to see some cool poetry. Yeah. Why are you being so nice about this James Marsden thing? Why wouldn't I be nice to James? He's like a cool guy. We he's get a, along great. He's a cool guy. Yeah. We're gonna have beers later. Just so, me. At her bar. Let's go see some poetry, huh? Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. After you. Here we go. This is Get ready for some sweet, sweet poetry. All right, there, Casanova, hit it. This is a new one I wrote. For my last, Rachel. Oh, oh, Rachel. You are so great. All the other girls are just snores. Your face is hot. Your ass is juicy like sushi. I want you down on all fours. Oh. Jesus, man. I want to put my chopstick in you. Chopstick? Like your ass was dim sum. <laughs> no. Let me make you a mum. No. What? Yes? No. I'm just... Uh... James. Talk to me, baby. That was... The perfect plan. God dang it. Oh. 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 
Where are you, where are you going? <laughs> okay, maybe we, maybe you don't want to date this woman. Perfect plan, huh? You are hey. not looking at it. <laughs> oh, and no. they're going to start banging in the studio. No. Of course they are. I mean, they did film There's a adult in movies there. in there. They're just going to... Oh, they're not even going to make it to the... Oh, no. What is face is Just go around, dude. Oh go god. in the room. No, oh my god. There's he does not want to do that. There's a bed right there. Ouch. Well, yep. it's not. It's, it's not looking good for my boy Lloyd there. Uh, nope. No, it ain't. No, not not. No. Not okay, no. let me. Okay, let I, me. Uh, let me. Oh dear. Let me clarify on something. Okay. There's a guy. There's a guy. There's, there's a guy I know. Guy. I've probably told you about him in the past. Not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use his. Uh, his real name. Let's just call him Kyle. Sure. Um, this guy, no matter what, could get almost any woman that he wanted. He had that much game. He, as a matter of fact, as I heard, as my friend Chad put it. He had so much game, not even Nate can derail him. Well, did you take that as a challenge? No, I wasn't one, no, because I was good friends with him. Because I was good friends with him, and I really only did it to people I despised. And, and... Fair. And, okay. Here's the thing. Within five minutes of meeting a girl... I, I, I kid you not, <clears throat> this is what it went to. Within five minutes of meeting a girl, it was just like it. She was just like, "Oh, your name's Kyle. Nice to meet you." Five minutes later, they're sitting on a couch, just going sucking it. face. Yep. I'm talking. I'm talking. She's straddling him, and this is this is at a frat party, by the way. Oh, okay. I was and, like, is this like in a Starbucks or something? Because that would be impressive. <laughs> now, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that mental image is both disturbing and hilarious. So, uh, yeah. But no, but no, it was at a frat party. Uh, it wasn't like a like a crazy frat party. There was like there was like twenty five of us there. Um, crazy ones like when there's a hundred people, there, which yeah. they which I was the I was the resident DJ. I was the resident DJ. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the good. I had a really good sound system, and I had and I had a kick ass. I had a kick ass set list for like for like parties and everything. You know, I had good classics like you know, jump around and uh, yeah. oh yeah, and a you know, also a bunch of you know, just a bunch of good classic dance tracks like uh, like friggin' <laughs> uh, it was a uh, Daft Punk uh, one more time. Oh that yeah, that one, yeah, yeah. that one always got a really good response after the people had some drinks in them. Uh, but anyway, within five minutes of meeting a girl, second face, and then within thirty minutes, up in his bedroom. Man got well, game. Man has got game. I and he's married now. He's married and he's got two kids. And I and I believe that there will be a legend passed around about him. Uh I'm surprised that legend wasn't passed around during the best man toast at his wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, God. she probably knows. Oh, she knows. One, one would oh, hope she that knew. she knows. She knew. Because here's the thing. They'd been fr they were actually friends for a long, long time. And it wasn't until after they both graduated from college and like two years after that, all of a sudden, uh, they were just like, you want to go get some dinner sometime? And she's like, sure. Good and then normal a speed year, and then a year progression. And then a, year, and then a year later, a year later, they got engaged and then... Six months after that, they got married. That's all. That's all very normal. Yeah, yeah. and which is sort of unexpected. Well, a little bit. Well, he uh, had. Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to make excuses for you know him being the way he the way he was and everything, but he had he had some very big self esteem problems. Hmm. He had some very very big self esteem problems, and he felt like he huh. had to overcompensate for a uh, lot of stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. And and. Self admittedly, he 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 was a man whore, <laughs> and he's and he's he's done with it now. And I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's found 
found someone that he likes and and is having a good life. <sighs> yeah, Kyle. good, good. Well, fake name Kyle. You know who you are in real life. Kyle. Wink. Is is he watching this? Could he he, he's a he? fan of the channel. Oh, he's, no. he's a fan of the channel, and I think he'll know who I'm talking about. Well, he will. No, well, and Chad will too. Chad watches the channel. Fair. All right. Uh, though, if neither of them see this, then, then, oh well, I got away with telling a story about about my buddy Kyle. Anyway, I was uh, expecting him to slip and use the the real name there. Anybody else? Just okay. Me? Okay. All right. I'll tell you. No, real. no, I'll, we don't want to know. We don't want to know. Let's We're just, just move on. Just Muting microphone. No, Nate. No. You Kyle sure? Reese. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if they heard any of that. Okay, no, they didn't hear any of that. All right. Thank well, God. That, that information really doesn't Yeah, it's do like, anything what, what do we care? I know, you don't know him. Yeah, but... <laughs> or really care. But... Well, you might meet him in the future because he, cause he's, oh, yeah, he's okay. a cool guy. All right. All right, so here we go. Uh, this so, is Public Ep- Humiliation. Epic Studio Public Humiliation. I wonder if my dad wrote this episode. Uh, Contest? you, you want to talk about Oh, it? he said for years that public humiliation is good for the soul. He has, like, a set of sayings, and th- this is up there on the list. Public, I think I've heard him say that public before. Public humiliation yeah. is good for the soul? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. That feels like something I, I should have heard at Boer's wedding. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something one of us should have said at Boer's wedding. We don't, you. We don't need no, no, no. He doesn't. No, I mean, no, well, it's no less dad, true. But your dad said that to me after I gave my toast to Boer. Right. Sound that sounds about right. That's when I've heard that. He says it a lot. Solved, gang. No. Your dad's a lot of uh, dude. Yeah. Fine, upstanding individual. Yeah, don't start saying stuff like that. Sometimes he watches these, so I don't what, know which one he picks. Saying that your dad's a fine, upstanding yeah, individual he'll, and he'll, meaning it wholeheartedly? Yeah, he'll he'll get a big head. I won't have to deal with that. Well, uh, Mike, I, I hate uh, to tell you that It's your fault for still living with him. Head size is kind of genetic. It, well, that's true, so, but just saying that. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm pretty sure you did not get that from your mother. No. She, does She's not, she has a normal head. Just saying, sometimes he watches these, and then now he's going to get a big head. Hi, Mike, his dad. It's weird. I could say your name, but I won't because privacy. Please don't. Hello. <clears throat> All right. So, Public Humiliation, Epic Studios, Episode 10. Here we go. Yep. Well, James Master. Rachel's ex, right? Well, ex, ex, because we're uh, boffing again. Okay, we're going to... Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus. Okay. I'm going to turn this place into hipster condos. I would be willing to upgrade our arrangement if somehow that video were to leak online. Epic style, epic style, epic studio. Really fucked up at work today. Screwed over some really nice people. So, uh... That's gonna come out. I'm worried about an electrical fire. What are you doing, man? There's something wrong with this board. It's dangerous. Don't touch it. (laughs) Faked it. Come on, that was hilarious. Probably it's not so, grounded. One time. Probably. I thought it was pretty sharp. Why it's would you need you. to ground the soundboard? Because yeah, you know how much power's running through it? So well, to work. Is it normal to ground a soundboard? Yeah. So yeah, we had to we had to reground a bass amp because whenever the ba- whenever uh, the bassist yeah, would yeah, plug in, he would become yeah, live, and if we touched what? the bassist, we got shocked. That's probably what she's doing right now. Don't electrical cords normally have a ground in them? Shut up, man. No, no, no. It's within Not the amplifier. Always. It's within the amplifier. Yeah. To pee. Stop it. Or not to pee Stop it. on me. Stop it. Where art thou, fellatio? Get your boner out of my face. What the hell? What oh. is that? What Old reel to reels. B. Dylan. L. Zeppelin. W. Houston. Holy shit. These famous people must have recorded here back in the day. T. Petty. Tom Petty recorded here. Are we sure? No. If this place is some sort of historic music site, then Sherman can't shut us down. We're saved. It's exciting. Yeah, right? Exciting. That's yeah. great. Sure. I think those are actually porn stars with plays on famous people names. That's about what I'm expecting, yes. Like lewd, like lewd Zeppelin. 
Mm -hmm. Hey, Reggie. <laughs> I'm like, so happy to see you. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. no, no. What What's no? Do? Because if the cops show up here, I'm going to be the first guy arrested. What? Do I need some time to bury some damning evidence? No, nothing like that. I just. Am I your father? What? Am I? No. No. Good. So what do you want to know? Just He's like, thank God, not another one. You're like nearly dead and really wise and stuff, right? So like if someone asked you to do something really bad to like okay people, would you do it if you got like something out of it? Every damn day. I'm going to tell you something that my mother told me when I was very young. She said that if someone stands in the way of your dreams, you stab them in the teeth with a screwdriver. Oh. What? You got to clog the drain to make it rain. You understand? No. What does your mother do? Myth. Tons of myth. <laughs> I dig the sentiment, though. Jesus. All righty. Ready to go in there? We're going to start with the drums. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Yep. I like her hat. Yeah, Bob Dylan. Yeah, we have it. Bob Dylan? Okay, cool. So, uh... Zed Leplin? Uh, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock? Great. We'll see you there. Bye. This... Dude, yeah. people are excited about these tapes, man. This press conference is gonna be epic! Oh, no. Epic. <clears throat> you should listen to them before you... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> listen to them. Hey, make, make wow. fists. Make fists. That's the way you... Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Oh no! They're For God's sakes, wise. dude! Are you good? Listen to the tapes before you put them out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's. Oh hey. For a LARPing convention in here. Hey, you better play nice because these LARPers are blockers. And they're gonna make this place historical. Trust me. Just play nice. All right. Check one two. Thank you all. Where did you uh, get huh. news microphones? I'm, I'm assuming they brought them. Uh, we have some great stuff here today. Epic Studios presents something that will not only break the internet, Ugh. but Don't will also provide that. new jobs for a brand new Toronto tourist attraction. We have discovered some unexposed, unreleased tapes of some of the most famous that was rock not and roll the right. personalities ever. Personalities like Bob Dylan. Sound familiar? No one has heard these tapes. Matter of fact, I haven't even heard these tapes. So, I wonder if they. I wonder. Ado, I, I wonder if they didn't get Epic permission Studios to use Led Zeppelin's name. The lost tapes. Probably. They probably didn't. Testing. Hello. Hey, let's talk about B. Dylan, Bob Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Bob Dylan. Where are your lyrics, you lazy mumbling hit? Sorry, folks. A little technical difficulty here. This next. Elena, I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know I was a man on this tape. <laughs> Question. You think people are gonna want to save this dump because of some tapes left over by a junkie? Hey, this place isn't a dump, and that shitty old junkie was my dad. I didn't say shitty. You said it with your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, folks. What my brother here is trying to say is we have a full service tanning bed. No, get, that, get out of here. Full get service. F the tanning bed, dude. He's get gonna, over yourself. Gonna keep pushing that. Oh my god, what a nightmare. Public humiliation. Here we go. Any questions? Hey, yeah, Jake Johnson here from the Globe and Mail. So you call this all here and then you publicly fail. Uh, I guess so. So crushing, terrific. But just how embarrassing is it? Yeah, was it worse than the fist fight? Wow. When you got your ass kicked. How about when you sharded wrestling practice? Did you once get busted and cover the girl you liked in vomit? No comment. And can you say sharded in the press conference? Hi, Robin McKenzie with Canadian Living. Are you hopeful that the internet is going to be for the maple We're syrup diet? We're wow. Broadcasting this. It's gonna go viral. A long lasting disc. This will stick with you for a long time coming. Is it that big a deal? Oh, pumpkin. Nick Smith from Hello Canada, real quick. You've got snot on your nose. Great pick. Sorry about that, but I had to do it. See, I get paid because you blew it. You're an asshole. Language. Hey, it's oh, Harvey Levin. You're Just spreading some fun, ah. kindness and cheer. Stop picking on my baby, oh. you bunch of jerks. You're bullies. Oh. Mom, you're making it worse. Oh, my handsome boy. You're doing so great. Although I will say you probably should have checked those tapes. You've always been careless. It's really aggravating. Once he left the door unlocked and I walked in on a master. Mom! When he was little. Oh, what a cutie. Here, pass it on this photo. That bonnet, those ponies. <laughs> By the way, tell me, how's Pam? Mom, Mom, Damn. He turned his proposal down on the kiss cam. Surprise, Pam here from ExGirlfriends.com. No. Nice to see you, Lloyd's mom. I've brought some mementos from when we were 
were together. Waterproof sheets, cause Lloyd's a bed wetter. Oh, oh. covered with speedos with skin marks. A stack of this rap about Otto von Bismarck. Close pins he'd ask me to clamp on his balls and printed out dick pics. Is it fence? Is it small? But of all the things our relationship was missing, Lloyd's biggest flaw is that he just doesn't listen. Doesn't listen? Just like he didn't listen to the tapes. It's the same flaw. See, I told Why you. Why has he been dumb so long? It's like he wants to fail. That's a great title. Epic Studios, the epic fail. No! Oh dear. Lloyd, stop acting like a little baby, man. So what? The press conference was a train wreck. It was like a train wreck into an orphanage. Man. Well, it is the own fault for being too <laughs> A train wreck into an orphanage that to the tapes, was in front of a dynamite yeah, factory. A just like your old man. Just like him. Maybe you were, but there is one big difference. What? You're alive. <laughs> Uh oh. Ha ha ha. Very funny, Reggie. Oh. Especially that smoke. How'd you do that, Reggie? Is Reggie dead? Reggie? No. You can't kill Reggie. Ah! Reggie, no! No! You are not gonna die on me, Reggie! The rent is due! You gangly motherfucker. Come on! You <laughs> gangly motherfucker. Oh no. Uh, you work here? Literally, no one would say that, but technically. So, oh, when you were at my place, you spying on me for Lloyd? Ew. No, I just genuinely like water that much. What? Anyways, is Lloyd here? Things are weird with us now because of this whole James Marsden thing. I just want to, I, just so that he, I get it. Of course. Get him for me. Come on, Ranch. Hey, Come Lloyd. On. What? What are you doing? Nothing. We're doing... Private dude stuff. What do you want? Rachel's here. Really? She really wants to talk to you. Tell her I don't want to talk to you. Just tell her to go away. But she said... Presley, not now, okay? <sighs> okay, thanks. Thanks so much. Come on, Rich. Get away from the mic, huh? Uh, what's up? Is he coming, or...? He said he doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Can you take a message for me? Siri, message. I'm sorry that you don't have time to see me, but could you do me a huge favor and go fuck yourself? There Ray? it is. Thanks. Yep. Rachel. Oh, P.S. Uh, Presley can go fuck herself too. Bye. <laughs> Killer impression. <laughs> mouth to mouth, dude. Oh my God. You killed Reggie, you bastard! Well. Well. <sighs> well. Damn it. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. The next episode is titled So Many Ways to Ditch a Dead Body. They're going to slice up Reggie and bury him. No, no. I can't handle this. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. Nope. Reggie Come was on. the only character I liked on this show. Yep. Sorry, Lloyd. Sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> No, <laughs> Richie was Richie was the voice of reason, dude. Boy, and that's scary. I know. Damn. Damn. What are I'm, they gonna do? I, damn. Oh, I would. Yeah, he would. Def, he definitely. Sl yeah, I would definitely put him in like the, you know, on the good side of the spectrum. I would. I'd put him more good than almost any other character on here. I mean, like, I mean, he's but, still like. Right in right square in the middle of that spectrum, but that's well, of course. But mm. it's better than being. It's better well, the, than I being think on... the brothers are definitely like chaotic neutral. <laughs> uh, yep, that's uh, right. yeah, yeah. You're no, you're not wrong. Obi's chaotic, stupid. <laughs> yeah, Lloyd is just chaotic. Lloyd is chaotic neutral. Uh, no, no, look, intelligence doesn't factor into alignment. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. I've met some. Very high intelligence, lawful, stupid characters. <laughs> I, I can Paladins. get that. What are you going to do? Um, um, I can't believe I killed Reggie. I'm who's that? Okay. That's pretty upsetting. Okay, well, who's a, here's the thing about Reggie. My guess is he's actually going to wake up. He's actually going to wake up and just be like, just be like, just be Why like. Y'all trying to get rid of my body. He's like, he's like. What you doing? Uh, he's gonna like wake up and like, you like the trash bag. The, the trash bag is gonna like sit up 
And he'll be like, zombie, zombie, no, no. And he like splits open the bag with his hand and he's just like, like what he's the just, fuck? He's just like, y'all didn't even fucking call he's me like, he's like, he's like, guys, if you want to dispose of a dead body, Maybe there's always a, tra- there's dead? always the, tra- oh wait, it's, it's Toronto. So they wouldn't be able to do the trash because trash, the trash uh, takers often go on strike. Oh yeah. In Toronto. But <clears throat> I'll say this. Um, he'll probably like, open up the bag and just be like, guys, tie bag, so, if ready. you want to dispose of a dead body properly, tie some weights to me and throw me in and throw me in the uh, throw me in the lake. That's all you got to do. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, it's kind of irrelevant now, but uh, yeah, no, you know, just for next time, next time. Next time, Epic Studios. <laughs> Next time on Epic Studios, will Lloyd go to jail? Probably. I mean, it's just the cherry on top of the whole situation. Actually, I think that's how the season will end. Lloyd goes to prison, and they'll ask him why, and he'll just be like, Epic Studios, man. Um, Epic Studios. I'm going to be real with you here. I'm banking on electrical fire. I think they're going to pull a Great Gatsby and James Marsden's going to shoot Lloyd. You think? Yeah. No, but no, you can't show who shoots Lloyd because then you have to have the whole angle for the next season of who shot Lloyd. Oh. Yeah, kind of like, yeah. the, like the who Marston. shot JR. Kind of like the who shot JR thing. I mean, exactly like who shot JR. That's what I was referencing the whole time. But yeah. yes. I'm, yeah. Well, well, and, I'm the, well, and then, somebody's on the page with me. Yeah, and then. It's not me. Like he wakes up in the hospital. Not he's like, pictures. he's like, that was too much. I'm not sorry. That everybody knows I can't read. I'm having a rough day. He, wait, he wakes up in the hospital and he's like, Ooh. "What happened?" And Obi's just like, "You got shot." Who would shoot me? And he's and, and, and Obi, Obi's just and like, Obi's just who like, wouldn't shoot who me? wouldn't shoot you? Yeah, Obi's like, who wouldn't shoot you, man? And then and it's just like, okay, who has a gun? Oh, oh yeah, that's that's probably the easier question to answer. Well, uh, they're in Canada. Well, yeah, exactly. Know, there's some provinces in Canada that are actually there's, just as gun happy as here in the south. There are a lot of guns in Canada. Uh, there's a lot of rural areas in Canada. Well, it's just like Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, holy crap! I, I think the gun ownership there is ridiculous. I had a very interesting conversation with a clerk at a Tim Hortons that informed me that the Niagara Falls is run by the Canadian Mafia. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that we've told that informed. online, we'll probably all have hits put out on us. Yeah, we'll Great. probably... It's like a waterboard me with maple syrup. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. Well, it's in my beard. Well, then it's not waterboarding, is it? So it's totally maple fine. Boarding. Maple boarding. Syrup. No, they just attached you to a, a like maple a, plank. Like a beaver chews my fingernails off. <laughs> Actually, I, I know what they could do. No, they go for they the get, nipples. They get boi- they get beavers, boiling. Beavers go for the nipples. They get boiling <laughs> hot. Oh, that's that. true. <laughs> oh no. Boiling hot gravy and Bo- boiling hot Tim Hortons and and poutine. Yep. That could actually be like like they have your hand floating over top of it, and then they force it down into the Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah. You try and sink your fingers up to like get away from it, go into a fist, and then. Well, that's not going to work on Micah. You never know. Man. Canadians are sick. I never realized. That's messed up. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of deep-seated anger behind that politeness. Oh, yeah. There always is. They're still, well, for one, they're still angry about, uh, oh, gosh, what was his name? Oh, damn. He was, he was actually a, a very popular, uh, very I popular mean, Canadian artist who, like, renounced his Canadian citizenship. Justin Bieber? No. <laughs> Thank you for making that joke. So they I did send that. him over here, so that, that's no, pretty no. good. Well, they, well, they sent him. No, not Chad Kroger or Nickelback. I think it was Brian Adams. What's well, a Brian Adams? Sense. That would make sense. Is that a Pokemon? No. Um, I wish it was. Because you know what it's, cause you know what it's uh, sound it, is, it says, right? Brian Adams? No. <laughs> Everything I do, I do it for you. Oh. Everything I do. Wait, nope. Copyright infringement. Yeah. I do it for the... Mm-mm, I ain't gonna say. <laughs> or we could just make Celine Dion jokes. <laughs> Actually, I think it was. Let's make Celine Dion jokes. No, I want her far away. Is that a Pokemon? Too. That's totally a Pokemon. Okay. Yes, it is. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. It's so... its main attack is my heart will go on. So. Did you know that they actually had to close 
the Celine Dion Museum. Did Attendance you know? was too low. That's 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 hurt. That hurts. Yep. Well, I know one reason. Okay, I wish I had a follow up joke well, here, but I well, don't. I have a I have a follow up story. Uh, the Johnny Cash Museum, the House of Cash, was open to the public for God knows how long, and mm-hmm. then. Somebody tried to steal, like, Johnny's uh, platinum and gold records, and then they shut it down permanently. I mean, that's a good reason. And then it burned down a few years after Johnny Cash died. Oh, no. Ah. So now all of that history history about Johnny Cash... Fell into a burning ring of fire. More like a burning... More like a burning square. I got Elena. I'm happy. Okay. Also, on topic of things you wouldn't expect, apparently you have to uh, pay a user fee to visit the grave of Karl Marx. No, you don't. That's that's what I've heard. I I gladly I gladly pay you. I gladly pay that entry fee just to take a dump on it. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's stipulation. Okay, no, you know what? We're looking this up <laughs> right now. I have to know <laughs> if that one is true. <laughs> Is it true, really? That's what I've heard. I I mean, I've not like I, done I, a... I'd gladly pay it if I could take a dump I've on not it. done a bunch of in-depth research on it, but apparently it's they're like, having trouble it's like, it's maintaining like if the property. I do, it's like, if I do pay this, do I get to piss and or shit on his grave? That's going to be mean, a no. Why not? It costs $6 just to see his grave. To visit Karl Marx's grave. Yeah, the man who invented probably the it most is... insufficient form of government in history. Okay, this is a report from 2015. Uh, I guess... According to a report in the Wall Street Journal... I say this Marx's very sarcastically. Site, it was which is located economic on theory. property in London, is quite expensive to maintain, and well, as a result, visitors are charged an entry fee. Well, he came up with the most... Okay, he came up with the most... Uh, the most unbelievably silly... The, you know, pol- uh, economic theory. You and, say that, but people love him. Yeah, people love him because they don't understand money. They don't understand economics. I mean, on, I mean, honestly, everybody loves. I mean, everybody loves uh, Nickelback until they find out what real music is. As one really Marxist angry Nickelback political fans activist section. told the Wall Street Journal, there are no depths of irony or bad taste. To which capitalists won't sink if they think they can make money out of it. I guarantee. I guarantee you. Wow. Okay. Uh, so. Wow. That, that's that's that is kind of amazing. Of that is a good bit of irony <laughs> that you have to pay to see Karl Marx's grave when a man when the man free I... said free everything for everybody. <laughs> no, the best part is that the title of the article is "Death to Capitalism." Capitalism? You know, dub- double irony because Karl Marx and also from death to, to capitalism. capitalism. That's well here's, amazing. Well, here's the thing. The only way socialism uh, and communism really works is if you have, like, Star Trek abundance. You know, you have, uh, yeah. you have the replicator. You well, can replicate anything and everything you could ever want. Well, even and, even then, like... That's actually been debated because that still has to run on energy, which is scarce. So you can't really eliminate scarcity. Uh, inter- energy, energy wouldn't be scarce if you would just use nuclear energy and stop mm. using fossil fuels. Also, um, yeah, but try, yeah, but try energy, telling that. Yeah, try telling that. E- energy uh, scarcity, uh, like while energy is finite, the amount of energy that you can get by directly converting mass to energy which is exactly what you would do if you had replicator technology because you're converting energy to mass. Right. It's fine because you realize how much energy you can get just from converting people's poop to energy. Yep. Listen. And, I mean, and here's the thing. It's directly converted to energy, so it doesn't matter what it was before. It's energy now. You do realize that more than six... You would... Is there... What mechanism is there to completely convert something... There's not yet, but replicator technology but will there relies be? on that. Right. But will there so. ever be? But I mean, there's like, if only even the best systems in Lord. nature like aren't 100 percent correct. Their heads out of their out of company. They're not anywhere even close to 100 percent. But only uh, paying for gas. But I mean, oh. essentially, you know, we're talking about a system in which the technology has already been developed in the right. theoretical system. So. 
Well, it sort of solves itself. Like, why do you think they well, don't have theor- to worry so much about plumbing okay. on the Enterprise? Okay, here's one thing, Ben. Theorize in one hand, shit in the other. See which one fills up first. Well, essentially what we're talking about is fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> on all of these poop jokes, we're going to call this episode to a close. <laughs> but remember... Uh, Epic Lloyd is doing Epic Studios yes. and it's good stuff and you should go check it out. Yes, please watch the original Just video. Watch and the original video, subscribe to Lloyd, uh, links to the original videos He's and his at, channel. At 500,000, right? Yep. I, I don't know if I want to keep watching. Reggie's gone. But you never know. You never know though. Next episode he may just very well come back and just be like, oh man, that was a worse trip than that heroin trip I took back in 74. Oh God. Whew. So what's new guys? Wait. Why am I in a garbage bag? What yeah. the fuck? Where are my pants? Why is my shirt why is my shirt ripped? Who fuck who ripped my fucking silk? Why shirt? do I smell bacon? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.